today's yoga practice. My name is Amanda and I'm going to be taking you through today's practice. So all you're going to need for today's practice is your mat and then let's grab a pillow. So what you're going to do with the pillow is just slide it underneath your sit bones just to prop you up a little bit more. And today's practice is for stiff back. And so the reason why we're propping our sit bones up is because this allows our pelvis, the pelvic bowl, to sit a little bit more center as opposed to tipping this way or this way and causing us to dump into our back. So once you're up in a nice seat, you're going to actually draw your shoulders up towards your ears and then down your back, creating a nice long spine. From here, we're going to start with neck circles. So drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Bring your chin towards your chest, left ear towards your shoulder, and then back up. We'll do a couple more rounds just like that, observing any tightness or tension that's in your body. And if you've done quite a few of the videos with me, you might be like, what the heck? Why do we always start with neck circles? And we don't always start with neck circles, but one of the reasons I love neck circles is because the neck is really, really overlooked. Going the other direction as you're ready. So the neck is really overlooked and it's actually part of the spine. So the cervical spine is the very top part of the spine. And we actually really want it to be in line with the rest of our spine, but because most of us work on computers, and we sit for long periods of time with our neck in weird positions, it, it actually becomes kind of like either jutted forward or maybe back or, you know, a lot of this is happening and then we're squinting and all the muscles get really tense and tight. And so it's, you know, it's important to open up this part of the body, especially when we're working with the back. All right, back to neutral. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, interlace your fingers, and then exhale over to the left. So opening up the side body here. Inhale back to center, and then exhale over towards the right. Breathing space and length into those tight, sticky places between each of your ribs. Inhale back to center, exhale towards the left. Inhale back to center, and then exhale right. Inhale center, exhale down. All right, hands on your knees. We're going to do seated cat cows. So on an inhale, stick your chest out, reach your hips and head back, and then exhale, rounding down, coming into a C curve. So making the shape of a C with your body. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, coming into that C curve. If you're like, this does not look like any cat or cow I've ever seen, I totally get it. Just roll with it. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. All right, back to center. Now we're gonna move through, there's not really a name for this, so just watch me for a second. We're gonna stick our chest out, kind of like the cow. We're gonna go over to the side, back into cat, over towards the left and forward. So we're just making sort of like cat-cow circles with our spine. Nice and slow, depending on how your spine feels today, depending on how your back feels. Really good. Making sure you're breathing throughout this process and it's kind of funny. I have a private client that I work with quite a bit who's always like breathing. I'm always breathing. Yeah, I get it. Of course, we're always breathing. We need to breathe to live. But th the thing is, is that a lot of times we are not breathing deeply. We're breathing short and shallow. All right. Other direction. Really good. Great job. And back to neutral. 
Really good. Okay, we're gonna come off of our sit bones now and we're gonna come to all fours. So just removing that pillow, putting it back wherever you got it. And coming on to all fours here. So as you come onto all fours, stacking wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, creating a nice stable tabletop position. And since we're working with the back, I think it's really important here to note if your back is straight. So oftentimes we'll dump or we'll round or we'll arch, depending on where our flexibilities and inflexibilities are. So imagine like you had a cup of hot tea on your back and you really don't want to spill it. All right, now on an inhale, we're going to drop the belly, belly reach the hips and head coming into that cow pose. Exhale, arch your spine coming into cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. All right, coming back to neutral, and now we're going to do circles with our hips. So over towards the right. It's beginning to warm up the lower half of the body now, integrating everything together. Maybe you're like, this is nothing to do with my back, but in reality, it's all connected. Head to toe, every single thing is connected. So if you're having back stiffness or soreness, it might be connected to sitting to your hips to take hamstrings. There could be so, so much going on. And reverse directions. Really good. And back to neutral. We're gonna step our right foot long behind us. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shift our weight back and forward. So just warming up into the back side of the legs. And switch over to the left. So left foot back and just shifting weight back and forward. Just beginning to warm up into the legs. Really good. Now from here, we're going to tuck our toes and step into downward facing dog. And as you get into your downward facing dog, bend your knees, send your hips up towards the ceiling and just begin to pedal out your legs. So one foot and then the other, back and forth. Really good. All right, now as you're ready, walking your feet to meet your hands at the top of your mat. And as you get here, take an inhale, draw your hands to your shins, a long spine, and then exhale, folding forward. We're gonna do that twice more, just nice and gentle on the body. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, long spine. And then exhale, fold. Really good. So inhale one last time, long spine, and then step your right foot back, drop your knee down, untuck your toes, and bring your hands to your knee, coming into a low lunge. So as you come into this pose, you're gonna feel most of it through the front side of your hip flexor, the front side of your quad. What we're gonna do is we're gonna really think about the back. So draw your tailbone in and under and engage the belly as you sink forward. So keeping the back nice and neutral. Noticing how this feels, if it feels different from what you were doing before. And just observing how it feels on your back, on your legs. And just making little mental notes. Really good. Taking a deep inhale breath. And as you exhale, we're gonna plant the hands in the inside of the leg, and then heel toe your foot out towards the left, sinking a little bit deeper into lizard, and then bringing your arms down towards the mat if you can. If that doesn't feel feasible for you today, that's totally fine. No need to push it there. Really good. Deep inhales and exhales, breathing into the sensations in the body. 
All right, inhale all together. Exhale, coming back up. Heel toe your foot back to center. And then we're gonna step it back to all fours. So from here, we're gonna do a shoulder opener. So inhale, right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread it underneath your left arm coming down onto your right ear. If you feel good here, you can walk your left fingertips long. Breathing nice, deep inhales and exhales. Focusing on sending your breath to where the sensation is. On your next inhale, bringing your left fingertips back, putting your weight into your left hand and coming back up to center. We're gonna move into the other side. So inhale, left arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale, thread it underneath your right arm, coming down onto your left cheek. If you did so on the other side, walking your fingertips long in front of you. Just observing the sensations in your body as you breathe in and out. Noticing where your mind goes in the practice. If you're thinking about what's for breakfast or lunch, or you're thinking about the noises around you, or the things on your to-do list. Just observe. All right, walking your right fingertips back if they're not already, coming back up to center. And then we're gonna come back into our downward facing dog and do our lunge on the left. So send your hips high and just notice how you feel in this downward facing dog right now. Take a deep inhale breath. And as you exhale, plant your right foot in between your hands, drop your back knee down, untuck your toes, hands to your knees, settling into your lunge here. Once again, focus on the spine. So tucking that pelvis, engaging that core, and then sinking down into your pose. Really good. Inhale deeply. Exhale, bring your hands to the inside of your foot. Heel to your foot out towards the outside edge of your mat. And then sinking yourself deep into your lizard pose. If elbows are available, you can come down onto them. If they're not, that's okay. Breathing deep, inhales and exhales in and out of the body. And then as you're ready, slowly coming out of it. Heel toe your foot back to center and then coming back to all fours. Really good. From here, we're gonna rock onto our sit bones and come into seated position. So we're gonna start with Janu Shoshasana. So what we're gonna do is extend the right leg long, bring the left foot in and out so your foot is right against your inner thigh. Take an inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, square your chest off towards your leg, and then exhale, fold forward. Keeping your spine as long as you can here. Inhale deeply. Exhale, coming all the way up to center. Extend your left leg and bring your right leg in towards your sit bones. Inhale, reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Square your torso off with your leg and then exhale, folding forward. You have construction happening in your apartment building like I do. Just see if you can allow it to be a part of your meditation. Inhale and exhale, in and out. 
Deep breath in, and exhale, slowly coming back to center. And we're gonna come into a butterfly pose. So bringing the bottoms of your feet together, legs are nice and open. Grabbing lightly onto your ankles, take an inhale to lengthen, and then an exhale to fold. Reaching your head forward. Really good. Exhale, slowly coming back up to center. All right, we're making our way on to our backs. So drawing your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a squeeze here. Maybe you're rocking side to side, so massaging out the back. And then doing little circles with your knees, just around. And then switch directions. All right, and then plant your feet down close to your sit bones. Arms are long by your sides, palms facing down. Take a deep inhale breath, and as you exhale, send your hips up towards the ceiling, coming into a little bridge pose. Remembering to breathe and keeping your gaze nice and long up towards the ceiling. Really good. Inhale deeply and exhale slowly lower down. As your sit bones meet the earth, draw your knees into your chest again and we'll come into happy baby. So reaching your arms in between your knees, grab the outside knife edges of your feet coming into that happy baby pose. And as you're here, try and keep your spine on the ground. So from the top of your head all the way to your tailbone. See if you can keep all the little vertebrae onto the ground. And if your hips are tight, this might be a bit challenging, but the more that you do it, the easier it'll get. Inhale deeply and exhale slowly lowering back down to the max. We're going to come into a recline twist. So from here we're going to actually interlace hands behind our head with the nape of our neck. Cross right leg over left and then exhale allow your legs to tip over towards the left keeping your gaze up towards the ceiling. Now, this is a different version of supine twist that we've done in other classes. So if you're not really feeling this variation, then you can just go back to the normal variation that we often do. Or if you have a different variation that you really like, you're totally welcome to engage with that. This is just a great variation that I really like to do sometimes in my practice. And all different types of supine twists are gonna be good on the back. It's just about noticing what's gonna feel good on your back and what's gonna feel good on your body. So inhale deeply and exhale coming back to center. All you're going to switch is the legs. So left leg over right and then allow your legs to fall over towards the right. Keeping that gaze nice and long and nice and steady. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release the legs and the arms, draw your knees into your chest one final time here. And then as you exhale, you're gonna come into Shavasana. So reaching your legs nice and long, feet falling out towards either side of your mat. Palms are facing up, arms are long by your side. Closing your eyes and settling in, really allowing all the little muscles in your body to relax. And we're going to be here for a couple of minutes, and I'll call you back when we're ready. So really allow yourself to settle in here. 
really give yourself this time to relax and to allow the practice to settle in. Enjoy your Shavasana. Beginning to bring full deep breaths back to the body, wiggling fingers and toes, doing little wrist circles and ankle circles. As you're ready, you're rolling onto your side. And you're ready to wake yourself back up. And then as you're ready, making your way back to seated, just how we started class. Keeping your eyes either soft or closed. And as you arrive in seated, draw your hands towards your heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. Thank you so much for giving yourself this time to practice. Namaste. And just before we go today, I just want to make a quick note that I am not a physiotherapist or a chiropractor or a doctor. So if you are suffering any type of serious back pain or any type of ailment or injury, you should go and see your doctor. This is a great practice for somebody who wakes up stiff in the morning with stiff back pain or somebody who already knows what's going on with their back who can really identify those feelings. There's going to be sensation, but if there's pain, you need to back away. So if that is something that you were experiencing in this practice or in yoga in general, please go see your doctor or a physical health practitioner. Thanks so much for joining me. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get awesome videos every single week. See you next week.